overview in the spring and uh 1774 in the British Parliament passed the Converse Act, which quickly became known as the North American uh, Colony Act. Intolerance Act was aimed at isolating Boston from a sea of most radical anti-British settlements from other colonies. Colonists responded to these acts by showing in duty and uh, uncovering the first Colonial Congress to discuss the navigation to approach the British. Radical Boston had terrible acts, and by 1774, there were uh, almost a decade of revolution theory in Boston. The British taxation policies, such as the Stamp Act in 1765, sparked the debate on North American colonies that the constitution meaning of the representative leading radical like Sam, Samuel Adams and Patrick Henry, John Hancock accused of um, the colonists weren't representing in the parliament. That legislation body had no right to tax them and the standing of the British troops in the Boston people settling of the uh, Boston massacre in 1770. In 1773, Boston Radical, led by Sons of Liberty, boarded, 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 boarded. A British ship filled with thousands of pounds of the East India Company tea. They dumped nearly 350 crates into the harbor. After the Boston Tea Party, the British adopted and divided the uh, Conquer strategy. They sent 3,000 troops there and made the people pay for them. 1774, Parliament passed the Congress Act, which was aimed at society at Boston, influencing as punishment for radical opposing to British policies and the act was quickly become became known as the col colonies as interential acts considered for the four separate legislation measures for the Boston Port Bill it was fine for Boston and the tea that was destroyed in the Boston Tea, in the Boston Tea Party, and closed the harbor until the fines were paid. The British government rewrote the Massachusetts colonies, gathering boarding expansion power and loyal to the government. Administration Justice Act was authorized by the government to send indignant and government officials to other colonies or to London for trial. Other quote of act, which applied to North American colonies, was designed to provide shelter for British troops and allow them to be housing in private buildings. Unity and the force of con a first force of Congress. Instantly rotating in the Boston of the elder North American colonies at the Toleration Act opposing the result of diligence and all of the other colonies except for Georgia have gathered in uh, Philadelphia for the first Continental Congress in autumn 1774. The purpose of Congress was to show support for Boston and to work for an undefiled approach to the British. Nevertheless, the division plagued the colonies Throughout the colonies agreed to be boycotted to British goods, imported British goods, and uh, northern and southern colonies argued to refuse over measures to ban exports to Britain. The colonies uh, were economically dependent on, re on revenues for e uh, their exports of raw material such as cotton, rice, and for the motherland. In the diligence immediate of reaching the compromise agreed on exporting, 
Britain and Ireland and West British Indies would be banned after a year of starting uh, September 1775. This will give sovereign colonies some preparation for economy impacts that will export ban. On October 1774, the First Continental Congress included the Declaration of Human Rights and declared uh, defiance to the right of taxation of the labor of the British standing troops in Boston. It was a cartesian smart move, but the British rejected multiple attempts to at reform a government, and the request of the colonies prepared to militarize Despite the hard tone, the declaration that they did, King George III of the British monarchy ignored it. What do you think? Was British divide conquer strategy effective? Why was Boston singly punished? And why does Radicue prefer Polonius after Polonius? Let me know. Comments below.